I wanted to become a barber uh, mostly for the experience that a barber provides, which is you, you can't get it anywhere else. Uh, my granddad used to take me uh, for haircuts once a month uh, to the same barber shop. The guy cut four generations of my family's hair. He's still there. He's still cutting hair. There's actually opening for his shop in the back. And that usually accompanied with a pizza or a movie. And for me, that's about building a memory. And the gold standard is the barber shop that my granddad took me to. And I had such an, a time there and good memories that when I got into barbering, I didn't really care too much about cutting hair. I cared about giving people maybe those, if I can give a memory like that, that I had when I was a kid, an experience that somebody will remember maybe, you know, when they get to be 28 years old. So it's mostly about, it's, it's about the experience that you have that you can't get at a standard issue uh, corporation cut shop. I do a haircut, I'll set down a, a blade on the back of somebody's neck to give them a neck shave. I haven't had a neck shave in 15 years and the, the hot lather giving them that experience, you're not going to find that at other schools. You're not going to find that uh, anywhere else, but I think about, about the barber school. I'm very fortunate in that in this school, um, you have such a wealth of experience at your disposal. Mr. Height, the owner, has been cutting hair for 60 some odd years, and that if you're a fool to not take advantage of that. And between all of the staff, I mean, there's, I mean, I don't want to, say, you know, I'm going to dip into the hundreds, but combined, there's a lot of years worth of experience here. If I can help in the smallest way put out a product that this school, that the owner, Tim Hyde, is proud of and says, I trained that person, then I'm more than happy to help somebody because somebody was there to help me. I hang out with my friends all day. I talk about movies and sports. And then every once in a while, I work. I do some haircuts. And when I'm doing that, I'm meeting new people and talking about new things and hearing all kinds of uh, different stories and things like that. And it's, it's exciting. I cannot wait to do this for a living. I cannot wait.